<coughs> yeah, good day Dean. Uh, Chilby here in Australia. Uh, four JX1 diesels. Uh, I've just been given a set of injectors and I've got to share this with you because there's a pattern forming, man. You know. Okay, so here we have a look at this injector. <coughs> okay, now if you have a look at the tip of it here, sits in the engine like that. You got a hardened steel sleeve, the famous injector sleeve of the 4JX one, and this sits in the sleeve. Now, this is important because people keep raving on about these sleeves, and this is how the problem starts, right? Well, it has done in four engines that I've looked at now, okay? So that's a pretty good indication that this is a common, very common problem, okay? At the tip of the injector there's a copper washer. Can you see it? <coughs> Actually, as soon as you call it a gasket, why do they call it a copper gasket? Mm -hmm. well, what do gaskets do? They seal. That sits down in the injector sleeve and that gas, that copper ring sits there and it's clamped down with um, exactly the right amount of torque. And as the engine fires, it produces an enormous amount of heat. The piston comes up on compression stroke, the valve, both valves close, bang, auto ignition, the diesel fuel fires after the injectors fire, okay? Now, what happens is that this injector is sitting in, in water, you know, cool water, so the sleeve is cool, will keep the engine ambient temperature, and uh, steady, right? Now the copper is sitting right in the middle of the combustion chamber. Now this is a direct fire fuel injection engine and pretty well every modern engine is. So I can imagine this would be a little bit of a common phenomenon. So that copper gets bollocky hot, right? Whereas that is staying relatively cool. Well, in engine metal terms, it's cool-ish, okay? So you visualise the copper, which has got a very high rate of expansion, expands out and makes a really tight seal in the groove it sits in. Right? Uh, until time goes by, and these are a copper alloy, but copper alloys behave in unusual ways, so they can harden with heat, they can soften with heat, it really depends on the alloy, coppery tongue, all you know is it expands and it resists heat. All right. Now say for instance your engine was subjected to unusual temperature variations like this. I think that what happens is that the heat build up here is going to be great and it may encourage this copper uh, gasket to fail. Now there are other reasons why this would fail. Simple age, right? It's not going to last forever. And nearly every engine with a center firing injector they use some sort of heat expansion principle like this, usually with copper. Uh, some of them, like, even if you've got a cast iron head like you do with cat diesels, which are, these are very similar to, they've got cast iron instead of alloy, and the um, the copper is actually a cup shaped thing, instead of just being a little washer like that. It's a whole cup shaped thing. And same, well, I think with uh, Detroit diesels, you see a bit of that, and come, you know, if you look around, you find the injection systems are all got a similar system where they rely on expansion of metals. Because of the huge pressure you need something that's mechanically quite strong. You know, it's not just temperature, it's pressure. Very, very high pressure. So say that got hard, so it wasn't flexible, then it wouldn't seal properly and combustion pressure could come past there. So it got soft. Same problem, you know, so whatever happens, that fast. 